at Hawks K, you know, we um, we always say we can go any which direction. You know, we can go straight out, we can go down to Key West. Um, we rarely go up north, you know, because honestly the fishing is so much better, like right here as far as the rod and reel fishing. But this, you know, for the diving and for the spear fishing, going north is a good option. You get him? All right. Nice job, man. There you go, Reed. That's the one right there, buddy. Yeah! Come on, come on! Oh! He ate it! He ate it! He ate it. He ate it. Nice, baby! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! I thought you said you had I got him, relax. Oh! Dude, nice. he just ripped my boat off! Oh! Awesome, look at that big boy! The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. What's up, fellas? Hey, man. Hi. Ready to roll? Yeah. yeah. Right on. Reed, how you been doing, bud? I'm been good. Okay. I'm good. You need to show me all your secret spots? Yeah, he's been scouting some spots for us. Been spotting the groupers and the, we got a couple blacks lined yeah. up for us and some red groupers and right should on. be fun. Well, I'll go wherever Reed goes. I think he knows what he's doing. I'm thinking we'll uh, run up way to the northeast here and uh, see what we can find up there. Okay. Water's been real clear and it's been interesting. A lot of, a lot of groupers around this year. Good. I'm hungry. Figure we could try trolling for him a little bit and then. Uh, mm -hmm and then jump in the water and try to spear one if we want. Okay. How long can you hold your breath, Reed? My longest like a minute 30. Wow, that's pretty good. His key is the endurance. He's, uh, these blacks, they run off and, uh. I gotta chase him. Yeah. He just chases them and chases them until they finally get tired and then they go into a rock and then he calls us in. <laughs> I loved going out with you and Reed spear fishing. That was obviously something that you guys have spent a lot of time doing together. You know, it's a father-son kind of thing. It's really cool to see how that plays out. You know, like, that's, that's like your thing with him. And he is, that's his thing. There's no doubt about it. I don't know what else he does really well, but he does that really well. He's into it. It's fun, man. It's, it's, it's a great thing. You know, you know what's nice about the spearfishing? You know, during the summer, you know, it's hot, man. And, you know, whether it's fishing or just, you know, doing whatever, you know, it can be hot. So to go out and jump in the water, and we love to hunt, so that's you know it's kind of got the hunting aspect and the fishing aspect together. Um, just a fun thing to do. Yeah. Well, it, in the summertime, it is hot. I mean, if you get get in the water and get out, it feels so much cooler than just sitting there fishing. But I, I think it's fun to do a little of both. You know, to fish some, to get in the water, spear fish, lobster. I mean, there's just so much to do down here that's associated with the water, whether you're on top of it or underneath it that, man, it's, it's a good time to, to take advantage of that. Wow, that is super clear. Woo. Man, that is some clear water. We are gonna see him good in here. We on the spot, Reed? I think so. Getting close, huh? Yep. Man, it's beautiful up here. Okay, what's the program, what do we do? Well, I'd say uh, for, the, for these first couple spots, let's just send Reed in real quick to see if they're here and, um, if there's, a, I know these couple spots had a red groupers that were kind of borderline, yeah. and we could just um, rod and reel a couple of those. Or if he finds a black, he'll try to chase them and hole them up, and then we'll get in and, and uh, try to get them. Okay. Reed is, dude, he is all about it. I mean, he is excited about it, loves it. You can just tell. Man, that was a pleasure. You know, he knew you were coming down. He was, he, he really wanted to, uh, you know, show that to you and to be able to, you know, you know, take you spear fishing to the point where we went out scouting a couple of days before. We went out and, you know, did these areas and, and he held back, you know. <laughs> he, he didn't he shoot did. them all <laughs> because he normally he shoots them that's, all. But, that's um, hard to believe. Try like this first. I think I see him right there. So we started doing a couple of different things there. It wasn't entirely a spear fishing trip. Like one of the techniques that you guys have that's kind of cool is like if there's one that looks kind of borderline, you can have Reed take the bait over there and put it down there. Okay, you see him, Reed? You gonna take it down there? Because I saw that there were some red groupers in there and, and you could see that they wanted to eat. They were like, ooh, I want that, but I'm not getting away from this hole very yeah. far. 
Well, this is the best fish finder I've ever seen. And then Reed would take it over there a little bit and drop it, and he would come and eat it immediately. Immediately, yeah. There's like a certain range, you know, like a certain yeah. amount of feet, you know? Yeah. He's ate it, give us a second, give us a second, let's slow it. Go, real. <laughs> Reed, that's pretty awesome, dude. <laughs> that's pretty awesome, Reed. Right on, man. Oh, man. Look at that. Reed, you're the man. So that was, that was super cool to kind of watch that. And, uh, you know, that's also a really good way for anyone that's going to spearfish, a kid or an adult or whoever, to really be able to, like, look at a fish and go, man, I don't know if that's legal or not. So the only way you're going to know is you're going you're gonna to spearfish it, right? You're going to shoot it unless you catch it measure it and you're like that one's 25 inches yes so keep a mental right. picture of now what 25 you, yeah. inches looks like so i'm going to base everything that i see on that one right yeah. there that's that i know is you have a little scale to work right. off of he's legal he's legal right on we want to keep him yep okay awesome. all right well reed good job dude you're the best fishing guide i've ever seen in my life You got him. You got him. Right on, Reed. Good work. Yeah. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Hawks K Resort. Find what lures you. Lawrence, America's number one fish finder. B&W Trailer Hitches, Towing Adventure, Mercury Marine, Go Boldly, St. Croix Rods, the best rods on earth, Yeti, built for the wild, and by Ameritrail Trailers, Daiwa, Marathon, Power Pole, and Reflex Boat Decking. Hawks K, you know, we um, we always say we can go any which direction, you know, we can go straight out, we can go down to Key West. Um, we rarely go up north, you know, because honestly the fishing is so much better, like right here as far as the rod and reel fishing. But this, you know, for the diving and for the spear fishing, going north is a good option. And we ran, uh, you know, about 30 miles north of here. You know, we've gone up there a few times for, for different things, for sailfish and for some different, different things here and there when it's better. But the water clarity up there is really worth the ride sometimes. Beautiful reefs up there, uh, molasses reef, pickles, just a whole bunch of different reefs up there that are just gorgeous. The spear fishing limits, um, once you get up north there, you have to be at least three miles offshore. Um, so most of the spots we were hitting were four to five miles out, um, but not on these big reefs. We usually find the best action as far as the grouper and the snappers and things um, on these smaller coral heads like little isolated patches that pretty much nobody's finding or hit, hitting and really using the um, the tower on, on, on the 26 to, to run around and just look oh there's a you know random coral head um, and especially if it's surrounded by grass or something like that that seems to be the winning formula yeah I mean we got in there and looking around and sure enough man there's red grouper we followed some black groupers uh, right away Reed nails a black grouper. Yeah, yeah. What's really key with these black groupers is if you try to go do, shoot them on your own, nine times out of ten, as soon as you dive down to shoot them, they see you going down and, and before you can get in range, they shoot off. And if you're already down there, the second you come up and get, get a breath, you lose visual contact with them and they're gone. This one was a little cooperative and I just land there in the open and Reed, Reed dives down to him. I kept waiting for the fish to shoot off and he got closer and closer and closer and finally he got <laughs> into kill range and just, I saw that gun, poof, he shoots and he hit that guy and he just was, poof, one quiver and done. He got him. He got him. Right on, Reed. Good work. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Reed, he is all about it and I think that if we just, forgot him and left him out there, he'd be fine. <laughs> he'd still be he there, would yeah. just He would just swim around in a circle until he got his limit. It's just cool to see, you know, that he's he's all about it like that. But black groupers, red groupers, and mutton snappers were kind of the target. Mutton snappers, which are a lot of those around grouper, um, sometimes yellow jacks um, are, the, are the main target. And then we'll see some mangrove snappers too um, in certain spots. Good work. Oh yeah. 
20, 28 and a half. 28 and a half, nice job, dude. Stoned him, boy. I'm enjoying watching Reed shoot him. You know, I mean, he's getting such incredible pleasure out of it. And he knows, like, on this next one, that's where the big one was. And on this one over here, <laughs> in two more spots, that's where the big one is. And I'm like, man, I do not want to shoot the one that you've been staying up late at night <laughs> dreaming about. Like, I don't want that one. I, I'm fine with any, but I definitely don't want the one that's been keeping you up at night. Because he's like, I was been thinking about this one. It's like a mushroom shaped head. And then there's this big black grouper under that. I definitely want to shoot that one. I'm like, well, I would never want to shoot that one. That's yours. You need to get that one. And so we get to the first spot and it's like, I can clearly see that there's a couple of reds down there. And, and uh, I'm looking at Reed, I'm like, you know, legal? And he's like, you get him. <laughs> like, you're good to go, man. So I go down there, and the really nice thing about where you're doing this is that it's not super deep. Right. Yeah, I'm in really good shape, but I don't do a lot of spear fishing. If you're asking someone to go to 60 feet for the first, you know, most experienced spear fishermen are like, yeah, anybody can go to 60 feet with some training and all that. But where you are, it's like 12 to 20 feet. That's like a swimming pool. And I'm pretty comfortable in the water. And, you know, I, I get down there and this thing is not going anywhere. Like, I'm like, are you sure that's the one? And I look over at Reed and he's like, yeah, yeah, that's him. <laughs> I'm like, man, he is not going anywhere. So it was not super challenging. Like, this guy was very, what you called, user friendly. He just sat right there. I almost put the spear gun right next to him and just pulled the trigger. And uh, there you go, first red grouper. Um, and, and it was really it was really fun. Yeah, that but was I a liked... good that was a good size red. You get him? All right. Nice job, man. Nice. Bring him over here quick. That's awesome. I like the hunting aspect to it. I like snorkeling on the top, seeing them, getting ready, and then you see them come out, and you're like, okay, well now's my shot. You go down and shoot that fish, and you don't have to be down there very long. But it, it's fun. I mean, that's, a, that's really fun. And to do that, as opposed to the rod and reel fishing for a day, it's awesome. That's a good one, man. Woohoo! That's a nice red. That's like 20, 24 inch or more. Nice job, dude. That's awesome, man. Great eating. Further north is known as the dive capital of the world, or they're certainly the Keys. And um, you know, the, the difference there is just water clarity. It's um, consistently clear. Here we'll have days, you know, at a duck key where it's really clear, but then the wind blows out of the bay and uh, some dirty water gets out there. And the same reef you were diving yesterday it had great visibility, now it's a little dirty. Now that's really good for the fishing. Those nutrients are great for all kinds of fish, and it's easier to catch them on rod and reel with, with dirtier water, but it's uh, it sure is prettier to, to be in that clear water. Yeah, and it's not even necessarily like dirty water, it's just has some sediment in it right. coming from the, the bay and it's just water with sediment. Yeah, and, that, and that current flow that we have with all these bridges, that makes the fishing so much better for the tarpon. That's why there's such great tarpon fishing right here. That's why there's so many other species that are, that are, that are great. Uh, but that water flowing back and forth does hurt the water clarity. And then also the coral growth, you know, that clear water, the coral grows better. So there's some of the premier coral reefs right up there. Um, and it's not a, not a far drive. I mean, if you want to really get into some premier diving, you know, a little further right up the road um, to the north, there's some great spots. Hey, Reed, let's kind of swim out and see if we can find a block on the way out, and then we'll go to another spot. So Reed and I were swimming around. He had seen a red grouper. We were going to chase that down, and, and all of a sudden, as he's down there looking for this, this, this red grouper, this school of yellow jacks come in, just surround us. It was super cool. There must have been 30 of them, and they were just circling around us like a tornado. And the yellow jacks are great eating, and, and Reed really likes to shoot those, so he kind of spins around, and he's looking, and he's just following them, following them, following them, and finally shoots one. And it was really cool, because instead of the school of all the others running away, for some reason, they all went and swarmed around the one he'd shot. And it was just super cool. I mean, it was like a tornado of yellow jacks. Um, really cool experience. And uh, we ended up shooting another one of those. And as we were going back to the boat, this is where it got a little sketchy. No, 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 no. Get in the boat, get in the boat. 
Cuda coming in hot. And this is one of the things when you're when you're diving, you do have to be careful. I've always taught the kids, you know, don't grab the fish. Let the fish drag behind you. If a cuda or a shark comes in, you know, let them have him. You know, we can you know, get another one, but you're not gonna get another hand if they if they come in and try to eat your fish out of your hand. And sure enough, these kudas came in, and it was just a race to the boat. And he just got to the boat and handed you that gun quick enough, and, and you're able to pull that in literally right before the kudas got it. Got him. Good work. Just in time, huh? Reed is, uh, he did a really good job. We had a, started putting together a nice box of fish and a couple of black groupers, a couple of red groupers, a mutton snapper. You know, that's a, that's a lot of swimming. Uh, for, for all of us, for Reed included. I'm sure, you know, he didn't show signs of being tired, but I bet he slept good that night. He slept good. And uh, it's, it's just a good time to get out there and you, you go spear fishing for like five hours. Good exercise, I loved it. You know, to get out there and get in the water and swim around, it's nice and cool and seeing such beautiful things. I mean, whether you got a spear gun in your hand or you're just snorkeling around out there, man, it is beautiful up there next to your new house. It's really cool, I enjoyed it. comes to fishing in these hybrid boats, we really need rods that are very versatile, right? We might be inshore fishing for tarpon, we might be offshore throwing at sailfish, we might be trolling, we might be bottom fishing, there's just such a variety. So St. Croix has had a great line of mojo inshore rods for years. They just upgraded this year and had some input on what changes to make because the old inshore rods had little shorter butts and it really wasn't, wasn't good for these bigger boats offshore. Um, they work great for the casting inshore, um, but they made some great upgrades this year. They have a great new finish that's a really nice green olive color, beautiful looking rods, great high quality guides. But the things that I like the most is they did this, this butt system, which, uh, which really works nice on these bigger rods. They've got this angled butt down there that works great in the rod holder so your rod won't be uh, you know, moving around. It's nice and soft, it's plastic, it's a gimbal, but it's soft plastic so you can you know, put it on your hip and use it. Works really nice. And then they, they did a really unique thing here is, is they had a, everybody likes the cork grips, they're great, but in a, in a boat rod holder system, um, you know, your cork comes up to here and after pressure of trolling or having a big fish line, it's gonna pit or break right here. So they did a half EV foam here and then and then to the cork. So it's a really nice combination there. Well balanced, great action. This is a seven and a half foot rod. It's a little longer on the boat. Um, so you have that great casting distance. We have leverage on the big fish. It's great all around rods. If you want to check out the new Mojo inshore rods or any of the other gear that Tom and I are using, go to Tackle Direct and check out the link below. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Hook. Tackle Direct, the world's premier fishing outfitter. Buff, built for ultimate sun protection. Waypoint, streaming the best hunting and fishing series. Download the app today. And by Bruno and Rod Holders. Nikon. Wiley X, Lithium Pros, and Golden Boat Lifts. So the big fish of the day, this last big grouper that Reed had been really wanting to get, um, you know, we get to the spot and he'd seen some big ones there. That was a spot where you'd shot that mutton snapper. You guys tag team on a mutton snapper. Reed had shot it and it pulled off and, and you chased it into a cave and shot the mutton. Nice mutton and as you're bringing that one back to the boat, Reed yells, black grouper, and, and, uh, and I go over there to, to, to try to help him. 
And uh, sure enough, it was a really nice one. I saw him, he, he went down to try to shoot him, and he shot off, and uh, like they often do, we both chased him, and he, w and he went into this giant coral head. Um, and and it, was, it was one of those ones where it was so big that, and we look in there, he went into this hole that was about that big, and, and you look up in there, and it's just, you couldn't, you couldn't tell. And I knew he was in there. Uh, I mean, we could see a little silhouette in there of him, but he was just in there too far to get a shot at. So we just kind of had to wait for him to come out. And, uh, and I wasn't patient enough, I was kind of moving around next thing I know I hear him he's like here he is here he is I guess he'd finally just just decide you know to come out and you know stick his head out to see see if it was safe it was not safe <laughs> he stuck his head out Reed floated down there and got in there and just just a perfect shot and uh, hardly quivered uh, and he came up to the surface that was a nice fish that was a big black river. yeah there you go Reed that's the one right there buddy it was cool to see, you know, how comfortable Reed's gotten in the water over the last few years. I mean, he's always been pretty comfortable. But on this deal, I saw that, like, he's taking it up another, another notch. You know, it's not just about being in the water. He's easily able to identify every single fish that's there from a great distance. I mean, you're up on, it might be 20 feet deep, and you're snorkeling on the surface, and he, he can spot every single one of them and knows exactly what's going on and then, then goes down and takes a shot. Like, He's 13, so, I mean, what's he going to be like when he's 25? Because at this rate, he's learning very, very quickly, and he's getting a tremendous amount of experience. And, and uh, you know, it's cool to see a kid growing up with that. Good job, Reed. It's hard for me to believe Saltwater Experience has been on for 17 years, and you can find every show for free on Waypoint TV. Go to waypointtv.com and download the app. I'll tell you what, Reed is a stud, man. He's a fish. He's a fish himself. Yeah, we did good. Real good. Ready, bud? Here we go.